welcome the chairman and CEO of the Television Academy, Frank Sherma. It's so good to be here with all of you as we celebrate another year of astounding excellence in television. We are all celebrating together in this room tonight, but we are here because of all the fans who are watching on their televisions, on their computers, their tablets, or their phones. Thanks to all of you who tune in and watch. I know you can't possibly watch all the great TV that is out there, but thank you for continuing to try. I love that so much great content is being told from an authentic point of view. We're enjoying shows that reflect the personal experience of the people who make them. Shows like Reservation Dogs, Abbott Elementary, We Are Lady Parts, and With Love, just to name a few. These are all shows written, directed, and performed by those who use their, use their experiences to show us different perspectives. Hopefully, that is opening our eyes to their real stories and showing us a point of view that might be different than ours. And it is through this authentic storytelling that television really shows its power to unite us. These stories are what we discuss with our friends, our relatives, our neighbors, and it forms a bond amongst us. Television teaches us that no matter how different we are or think, we can always find the common ground to talk, laugh, and even cry about. And I am so proud that we get to celebrate so many different types of shows tonight. Thank you all again for stretching this platinum age of television farther than anyone could have ever imagined. Thank you for creating, and above all, thank you for watching. And now, to present the Governor's Award, please welcome Sarah Paulson and Shonda Rhimes. I first saw Gina Davis in Tootsie. I think she had just two scenes, and yet she stayed with me. Why? Her brain. Oh my, how very smart she was. You could see it. And then in role after role, with all of her other considerable charms, there it was, this shining intelligence that lifted the performance. She was unique. I had been under the spell of that unspoken rule that women should not feature their intellect, that it would get in the way of, well, everything. It was Gina who wiped that off the slate for me. She was a complete person, bringing her whole self to the party, thereby inviting me and countless women to leave nothing of ourselves behind. Representation, a powerful word with deep meaning when seen through the lens of entertainment. For women in television, the journey to true representation has been a frustrating one, and we still have far to go. Now, creating television that features women as they truly are is not a difficult task. <laughs> it's also not a magical act of benevolence when it happens. We are, after all, the majority of the population. True representation is our right. As Gina has said to me, it is just plain common sense, and she has the research to back it up. It's an honor to highlight the tireless work and acknowledge the incredible contribution of tonight's recipient of the Governor's Award, the Gina Davis Institute of Gender in Media. She is an American original, an award-winning actor, an Olympic-caliber archer. She's under it. Gina Davis's acting career spans 40 years. Emmy nominated for her role on Commander-in-Chief, she is also an Oscar winner and a recipient of the prestigious Jean Hirschholt Humanitarian Award. But her true legacy as a change maker can be traced back to her role in Thelma and Louise. You're lucky. You'd be sweet to him, especially your wife. My husband wasn't sweet to me. Look how I turned out. Which led to her profound interest in the way women and girls are depicted in the world. It changed the course of my life. It cemented my passion for wanting to help empower women, and it's driven my commitment ever since then. This passion for making a difference is why she created the Gina Davis Institute on Gender in Media in 2004 and its motto, if she can see it, she can be it. We need to make sure girls can see female characters doing this. We don't have enough real life role models. An advocate who is leading the fight to change the entertainment industry culture, and provide real opportunities in television and film with representation of what our society actually looks like. Growing up, I never saw anyone that like 
represented me or looked like me or wow I want to be like her. It's a system and a structure that has long stacked the odds against us. It's devastating when a little girl doesn't see herself on screen. You start to believe that there's something wrong with you. We have to all decide together that it's enough. The door has to be open. We just want inclusion. Media has the power to educate, to shape people's thoughts. It also has an incredible power when you get to see someone who's like you on screen. The fight for inclusion has not been easy, but the Institute has a powerful weapon in its mission to change the status quo, the power of data. Gina commissioned one of the largest studies on children's media that had ever been done. It was the first study of its kind. As a result, studios and networks are now actively bringing about gender parity by increasing diversity and changing the occupations and dialogue of women portrayed on screen. Look at the projects you're working on and do a gender and diversity pass. Take a sign to your office wall that says, no more missed opportunities. Let's do this. If she can see it, she can be it. Accepting the Governor's Award on behalf of the Gina Davis Institute on Gender and Media are Gina Davis and Madeline DiNono. Thank you so much. Uh, I'm tripping over my own dress. Um, we want to thank the Academy uh, TV Board of Governors for this incredible honor. This recognition of our mission and our achievements means so much to Madeline and I and our team who are here in numbers tonight. Um, yeah. <laughs> You know, tonight's about honoring the best of television, and as you know, as Lizzo knows, television can often directly impact how people see themselves and judge their value in the world. And in the time since I launched the Institute, we've made a great deal of progress, but still there's more work to do, of course. Many of the content creators that we have partnered with are here tonight, many of you, so thank you all for your support. And if any, there's anybody else that thinks uh, we might be able to help you, <laughs> just call us. Thank you Thank very much. You. Thank you.